Hey, how's it going everyone? Today we're gonna be jumping into the new final boss that was added over here on Global and is really cool. It's a Christmas theme one which I was not necessarily expecting but I am hyped for, especially this close to Christmas. This is going up right before it's Christmas Eve over here in the States and yeah it's really nice so for those of you that like just celebrate Christmas or you know are, are feeling the festive kind of vibe I hope you'll enjoy this and again if this is the last video you see before Christmas Merry Christmas to all of you guys and I hope you have a great day stay safe and have fun now with that said we are gonna be jumping into the final boss so it's gonna be pretty fun I, I touched on the stuff in the actual video that you can get from actually beating it and I mean I've already complete like collect all the furniture you guys know me I love the furniture when it comes to Grand Cross I, I really love this theme a lot like I I think I'm gonna keep it for quite a while <laughs> it looks really nice I like it so with that said let's go ahead and jump into it so the final boss actually isn't too bad at all very easy honestly but with that said I'm not attempting hell um and, I, and this isn't really a guide if it was a guide I would have done hell but I'm not really able to as well if you guys know like I don't play Grand Cross that much uh, but even then this account's only like three months old it's still relatively new so with that said like going ahead and jumping into hell isn't really capable for me but that's okay because I'm gonna be doing extreme and extreme is actually quite easy 120,000 comic class like I'm over that I'm well over that um and it should be fine like it, it's not that big of a deal at all the, the only thing that I would say is that like he, he does hurt quite a, quite a little bit but I'm completely fine he looks like a demon reindeer which is actually like really cool in my opinion I think that's such an amazing idea for a demon boss battle for Christmas uh so yeah I definitely like it not gonna be doing hell though boys sorry if you guys were expecting that but we will run through extreme and it'll be a lot of fun so this is the team that I'm taking I know a lot of you guys are already gonna be on my head but this isn't a bad team by any means in my opinion and, and I'm just bringing a lot of blue units obviously uh, just because that's what's gonna be needed against this boss uh, but I have my demon Melly there I have goddess Elizabeth and I have King now goddess Elizabeth I was finally able to get if you guys follow me on Twitter on the ninth summon I pulled this wonderful beautiful lady here uh, it took me all the way to the ninth summon to get her but I do have her um, and my demon Meliodas right there he has the gear that I usually put on my Las Vane Meli uh, so we'll see how that works although it's not gonna be quite as good on him as it would Meli of course uh, but yeah it's gonna be fun so let's go ahead and jump into this uh, King as well and yeah we should be good especially with Elizabeth yeah I've already completed this so I know it'll be fine but I'm just saying just in case so let's go ahead and get into the final boss all right here we go boys so look at this man like just look at him he looks beautiful like honestly like, they did a really good job like the green and the red on him very very nice final boss probably actually one of my favorites if I'm being honest with you just because of like the theme of it and how so close to festive time we are um, but Demon Melly is going to be my, uh, like, honestly, the hardest hitter here. Elizabeth is going to be very good for just protecting me and shielding me overall. Um, I think that's very important. Uh, honestly, without her, probably would be a different story. Uh, because her Reflect is very, very helpful on this as well. Again, this isn't like a perfect team, and this isn't a guide by any means. This is more of just like a completion kind of thing for me. And it's just a lot of fun. Like, I, I love doing these final bosses. They're, uh, they're really good. They're... They made me feel like I'm progressing in a way, um, but also just collecting all the rewards that I need as well. So the guards aren't really a big deal. Honestly, like I don't even target them unless I have uh, melee, but I, I guess I could go ahead and target them a little bit, but we'll see. We'll see. It's honestly not a big deal, especially with Elizabeth's ult. Um, I'm able to just heal up quite a bit. So I don't really need to worry about that as well. And yeah, it should be all good. Also, I mean, I could have taken Lilia. Like, yeah, I could have very much well, like, just took Lily. I'll go ahead and attack one of them. I never usually do, so might as well. But I don't really uh, have Lilia limit broken that much, quite a bit at all. Like, I do King. I have him at 70. I need to work on him a little bit more. But let me know what you guys use for this boss fight, because there's obviously way better teams out there than the, just what I am taking here. Uh, but I feel like a lot of people are definitely taking Blue Demon Melly. So there's that. I mean, he's, like I said, the strongest one I probably have right here. Uh, he does have almost full UR gear. And he also does have his Super Awakening higher than most of them. Except for maybe Elizabeth. So there is that. But okay, we will go ahead and target this one. This Since he's going to have his ult. Um, and I do have Escanor there. Just because Escanor has probably one of the highest CCs on my team. I know I could just put him in the back. But I just like having him out there. He, he's almost got like a lot of UR gear as well. Uh, so I just like to go ahead and bring him no matter what. But obviously Escanor is not going to be uh, the biggest hard hitter right here. But alright, we already have Elizabeth's ult. Which is really good. So I can go ahead and heal up. 
but I'm not disappointed with this boss fight. I really am not. There's no way I'd be able to do it on hell at my current strength. Um, even this, sometimes I do struggle with uh, just a little bit, but it's really not too big of a deal at all. So let's go ahead and wipe out the rest of this first wave and then we'll move on to the second phase of this man's health right here Especially with Elizabeth being able to heal. Uh, it's not that big of a deal Although I might save it because there's really no reason to heal right now But now nah, we'll, nah, let's just go ahead and do it. Let's just go ahead and do it I mean, I also have King there. So it's like that's why I was thinking like there's not really a point to bring Lilia um, Except for maybe stopping them from getting their ults, but it's not that big of a deal All right, so there's Melly's all going ahead and taking care of the first health bar. We're all good there uh, uh, definitely the best thing to go out and use. I love having him with uh, Merlin as the sink as well. Uh, definitely one of my favorite ults. But all right, second phase. Here we go, boys. This is where it starts to get a little bit more tough. Mr. Reindeer is not happy. Uh, but at this point, I also do end up having like kings and Escanors and things of that nature. Uh, so that is very good. So I'll also go ahead and let's just play some corrosion effect as well. I mean, I do have Escanor's move that can steal their ult too, so there's that, but we don't need to worry about that quite right now. Uh, there we go. That's why I bring Escanor, man. That's why I bring Escanor. He's not going to be a hard hitter until he gets Zol, really, but there we go. So that takes care. I'm surprised this man stayed alive. He should die. He should be dead, though. Yeah, we, we're all good. So there we go, boys. That's pretty much the final boss for the Demon Malik. Uh, not too hard at all. Like, it's really not. <laughs> uh, I'm not claiming to be, like, super good at this or anything like that. It's just a little fun thing for the Christmas times. It's almost Christmas Eve, boys, and I can't think of a better way to spend it right now than to be doing this. Uh, so let's go ahead and finish it with Escanor, I suppose. Uh, worst case, we could use King, <laughs> but it's not going to come to that. So, yeah, that takes care of it, boys. But if you guys are struggling with this, um, then I recommend if you do have the Blue Demon, and melee just bring him uh very very important because he's just so clutch like even when you get to this final phase and the dude has like no health at all demon melee is really like all you need but as you can see i mean bringing uh Escanor, i could have probably did it honestly with like my my lost vein melee but i use him so often <laughs> But I use the Las Vein Melee so often that it just gets tiring. Now, honestly, like, I'm not getting a lot of Elizabeth uh, cards right now. So that's probably why my health's dwindling down so much as it is. Uh, but it's completely fine. So we'll go ahead and heal up too. But I really, really like this. So that takes care of it. That's the Demon Boss battle for Christmas. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this. And to those of you who celebrate Christmas like me, as I said at the beginning of the video, I hope you have a great day tomorrow. Stay safe with everything going on. I hope you get everything that you need. Uh, I already have everything I need with you guys. So thank you so much for that. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.